I love my heritage, uh, but I love also when I play characters where it's just not important, right? Where, you know, we're just, we're all the same race. We're the human race. So as much as I love, you know, to portray these, you know, very characteristic Latinos, you know, and the way we are, I love just to play any kind of role. Teresa, can you tell me again <laughs> your beautiful answer regarding why did you decide to do this movie? And from like, you play a very tough, uh, tough character in Arcos Mexico and coming to, to Rosa, which is a more sweet character. But why did you decide to do this movie? Yeah, um, the, the, the film is an action film. It's a film that is full of adventures, that is full of uh, special effects, that is full of fighting and choreography that is magnificently done by Liam Neeson and Juan Pablo Rabat. They're the ones that carry that, that um, uh, wrapping of our film. Uh, but in the heart of the film, there's a message of compassion, of getting to know one another despite our skin color. This, so that's why I decided to, to take on this film and specifically this part, because she's a mother that crosses the border with her little boy. I, I was thinking about the audience that follows Liam Neeson and the audience that might go and see this film, that it, they're like second generation Latinos or third generation Latinos. And I feel that a, a lot of them maybe don't even know uh, what their mothers did or their grandmothers did to cross the border for them and then for their own future. So I thought if some of them could see that and could um, sense that experience, then that it would be an incredible privilege for me to, to portray. And for you, Juan Pablo, you always like try to, to play the villain. You play a different villain in, in the series Coyote and in this, this time around in this movie, Marksman, you play um, like a very tough one, you know what I mean? How did you decide to do this, uh, to play him? And, and, and what was like the most challenged parts to play? Well, I would say that um, it is always a challenge to play, you know, these villains. And there is a tendency uh, to, 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 to write, you know, very um, cliche, one-sided, characters or these type of characters, right? Because it is what uh, what the audience believes that, you know, a, a Latino villain looks like. So if a director gives me the opportunity or a writer, you know, producer to really dig deep and to be able to search for a different dimension in that character, then I, I am very attracted to it because I think that there's always a message to be told. Right, and in this case, Robert Lawrence, the director, he's a very sweet guy, and he was also very concerned about that, about this same issue. So he gave me the opportunity to really look for something else in Mauricio, and what what I told him that I wanted to portray was someone that was was not giving a lot of opportunities, that he was forced into this life, and and he became a soldier, and that's the only thing he knows how to do. And uh, I hope I hope we accomplished it. I won't. I don't know. <laughs> yes. No. Yes, it did. And mo <laughs> most a, a lot of people don't know, like what Teresa was saying, that what what like challenges to cross the board. And a lot of people don't know that sometimes the sicario, this is just the thing that he doesn't. They teach him to do it. So that was some, something that are very interesting in the movie that sh shows this both sides. You know what I mean? Like. Yes. Yeah, also, there also there's always something important when you choose a role that it's not only about you. You know, if the role can help tell a story and such an important story like Teresa was saying, like the one that we want to tell, a story that yes has actions, you know, and 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 drama and and and, and shots are fired and their fights and whatever, but you know, in the core, it's a story about empathy. So if I can create a bad guy that's believable. So that Liam char Liam's character is even greater than what he actually is, then I, I believe it's a great opportunity to, to tell a story. And now that is uh, how like like we are talking about Liam Nielsen, how's like working with him and how, like he's he's an icon. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I I love I love Nielsen and all of I, I love him and all of his films, but when I was I think I was at my brother's house when I got the script 
And, you know, I, I opened, you know, I'm like, oh, I he wanted to go eat tacos or something. And I was like, I can't, cause I have to read the script with, with a, it's a, for a movie with Liam Neeson. And my brother screamed. He was like, what? <laughs> like the biggest deal. I was like, I couldn't bring him to set. But then when I got to meet Liam, he was, he was just a kind person, a generous man that all of this like fuss, you know, all of this like stardom, it, it doesn't seem to touch him. It doesn't seem to shake him. So it was, it was really fantastic to work with him and to create together and to hear him be so passionate about the immigrant topic, to be so passionate about looking for ways to make reforms to the way that children are being treated at the border, their families are being separated, the way that immigrants are being treated. So that, that was very important for me. Yeah, no, yes. And the, the, this move to touches in this, in this immigrant part and, and the Latinos and everything. But, and now I'm seeing you two here like doing this, this like doing it in Hollywood, like doing like have this series, a lot of like uh, movies, good movies. But uh, Juan Pablo, do you think it's already uh, is better for us Latinos in this industry, or we still have a long way to to to, to get to the top? We still have a long way to go. Um, we still need to be. Uh, represented in um, in more various roles, indeed. But I will tell you this: I will I have always felt respected, you know, in this industry, in this city. Every time I've ever been on, a, you know, with producers in an audition room, I have always felt respected. It is it is an it is an industry, right? And it is an industry filled with professionals. So I I would have to say that that's my own experience. Now, I, I believe that, you know, we're, we're working hard to, to make a, an impression. And I think we're doing it, but I think there's still a lot of work to be done. And what do you think, Teresa? Yeah, yeah, I think that the same thing. And I also think that the more writers we have of color, the more um, directors we have of color and, and female, then the, the more this industry is going to grow in diversity because then the stories are going to come from a real experience and they're going to have more depth and more uh, colors. And Juan, uh, for you, like you've been like working a lot, uh, have a lot of like experience, is there anything, any genre or any character that you'd like to play that you didn't play yet? Oh, there, there are many. <laughs> and if I had the chance, I would play all my characters again and do them right. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one that's a really good one <laughs> but, but talking about you know it Dennis every time yeah, you yeah, see totally, me like, oh I totally, God, I totally I totally want beat. the same thing <laughs> why did I look left and not right um, no there are there are many 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 I want to play but especially I want to play characters uh, I love my heritage uh, but I love also when I play characters where it's just not important right where, you know, we're just, we're all the same race. We're the human race. So as much as I love, you know, to portray these, you know, very characteristic Latinos, you know, and the way we are, I love just to play any kind of role and where it's just not important where you come from, you know, like in life and you're in a room and it doesn't matter if you're from Brazil, Mexico, Colombia, you know, whatever, you know, you just talk and you relate as human beings. So I want to do more of that. I, I, I really enjoy it because I find great pleasure in finding all this, this you know, that, that we're all just the same and we have the same problems and the same fears. And I, I, it's, it's, it's very enjoyable to me. And, the, and you have the same blood in, your, in our veins. Exactly. Same color. So, and, and, and Teresa, for you, like this, uh, are you... Aside from, from this movie, uh, are you working in any new projects right now? Anything coming coming up this year for you? Yeah, I'm in Mexico City right now. And um, I'm shooting a season of a show. Uh, it's a biopic singer, Luis Miguel, for Netflix. Shooting here um, with all the COVID situation. So it's been challenging, but we're, we're, still, we're still going. <laughs> yeah. yeah, very different from... from yeah, very life. different. The new yeah. normal. <laughs> this is the new normal, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And and yeah, but here we are. Yeah. And and who am for you? Like you have Coyote, and but do you have any other like script 
in your desk uh, that we're gonna be seeing this year? I have been I have been auditioning a lot, which is very exciting. I love the auditioning process, as stressful as it is, uh, but still nothing. I'm just I've been hired as um, as the daddy of the year, and I'm still playing that role. <laughs> I'm doing great, by the way. Great. You look it. All like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'm gonna tell you, you enjoy enjoy every second because they go like like this, like in a second. Yes. 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 Oh my god. You know, I just want to thank you, Juan Pablo, again for, <laughs> for your time. I want to thank, thank you, Teresa, for your time. A lot of success and keep going because I I like you both. Like to go from screens and little ones, big ones, and I can. And I cannot wait for everybody to watch the match. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Muito obrigada. Muito obrigado, Jana do Bela. If you like this video, don't forget to comment, to like, and subscribe to our channel right here.